So I was watching a video this morning from uh, Red Pill Men's Health. His channel is exploding all over the place. 16K subscribers already. And he just started a couple of months ago. Fantastic. Good for him. I'll, I'll link the video below so you can uh, go ahead and have a, have a look at that. The video is prepare for the 40 years of invisibility. And, and of course, what this means is with respect to females. There will come a day in your life, and this is not hitting the wall. This is after the wall. Okay. Your sexual market value. Now, not, not your value as a human being or a companion or, or a creator, an inventor, none of that. Just your sexual market value. The type of men you can obtain with your sexual market value, once you reach a certain point, you have nothing. And it's really, really sad. And I say that because these women have all been brainwashed. That's the whole idea with the red pill analogy. Take the red pill, you know, pull the, the mask off and you can see really what's going on and all that stuff. A lot of women uh, haven't done that. Now, if you've been red pilled yourself or, or you're thinking about it, you've been on the, you, you've seen the matrix. <laughs> well, most people have seen that. The idea is that there's a lot of things that aren't as they seem. I think in the Matrix, they were living in a, was it a, a computer generated world? I, I don't exactly remember all the details, but a lot of things that we've been told, and certainly a lot of things feminism has told women is a flat out lie, at best misleading. This is what's really going on is what they'll tell us when actually that is what's going on. And when you, you know, suck down some red pills, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. I've been told this. Yet, I'm observing that. So something's not quite right here. And a lot of men have been through the rage period where it's like, what? How? Wh Everything I, I thought to be true isn't. I mean, that's bound to make everyone pretty angry. Especially, you know, we, we talk about it with respect to women, but it's with respect to just about everything. It seems, however, women haven't gotten to that point yet to unwash their brains of this feminism nonsense. They just believe it's a religion, okay? It, it, it literally is just like an evangelical Bible-thumping church. Nothing you tell me is going to change my mind because that is my true belief over there. You present the evidence, doesn't matter. The earth was created in uh, 6,000 years ago. Okay, that's my faith and I believe it. Nothing you say can change it. Well, what about these dinosaurs? And they, oh no, ah, ears plugged. Some women are like that. They're known as feminists. There are so-called feminists. They know this is all bullshit. There is no question in my mind. They know this is crap. They know it. And they know they're intentionally leading women to a point where they will not be happy. Sure, they had fun in their teens and 20s and they did the carousel, they got the degrees and they got the job. A job can't keep you warm at night. Sure, you can have a couple of furnaces going, and they, but you know, you get my point. Uh, you, you can marry your job. You can love your job, but your job doesn't love you back. Your job doesn't give a flying fuck about you. That's another red pill truth. Well, I'm dedicated to my career, I'm a company man. The company would flush you down the toilet like that, if it suited their needs. But there are some ruthless people that could give two flying fucks about you personally. You're a number, you're a cog in a wheel, and you are fungible. It was Bruce Williams who used to do a radio show. Bruce Williams said it, and I think he said it well, and I think it, it's really meaningful. Do not love something that can't love you back. He was talking in this case about a car or a house or, you know, an airplane or a motorcycle. I'm talking about your job and your career, ladies. I love my job. I love my career. And it don't love you back. And it won't keep you warm at night. Once you're invisible, you have a long way to go. Being alone. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.